Okie dokie. In this problem, they say if theta is in quadrant 4 and cosine is equal to 1 over root 2, which of the following are true? As a reminder, it's very useful to understand the unit circle or at least the ordered pairs that go along with pi over 6, pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. I highly recommend memorizing these. So now, cosine of theta is equal to 1 over root 2. I'm going to go ahead and convert this into root 2 over 2. Again, uh, you might have seen it in another video. Anytime you see 1 over root 2, I recommend just thinking about it as root 2 over 2, because that's typically what you'll see in terms of unit circle coordinates and things like that, okay? So they're saying cosine is equal to root 2 over 2, and it's in quadrant 4. So it helps to know first, which angle are they talking about that has a cosine or an x value of root 2 over 2? Well, that's got to be pi over 4, because pi over 4 has the ordered pair root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So the cosine or the x value of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So they're talking about the pi over 4 multiple, or the pi over 4 angle, that is in quadrant 4. If we know anything about, uh, about pi over 4, is that it's always like the 45 or like halfway between the quadrants angles. So like this is pi over 4, that's 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So 7 pi over 4 is the pi over 4 angle in quadrant 4. Again, if you need the quadrants, it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in quadrant 4, we are dealing with 7 pi over 4. So now what they're asking us is about the secant sine and cotangent values. Okay, so it probably just helps to know that at 7 pi over 4, the ordered pair is uh, positive root 2 over 2, like they've given us. And the y value is not just root 2 over 2, but it's negative root 2 over 2. The y value is negative because you're in the fourth quadrant here. The sine value is negative, right? So the y value is negative root 2 over 2, which, again, they will write as negative 1 over root 2. This is our y value, which means this is our sine value. So that shows up in number 2 here. So this is a true statement. So, sorry, I was just working out of order. I just saw that, figured I'd address it. So now, let's talk number one. Secant is negative root three. That's what they're stating here. So secant is negative root three. What do we know about secant? We know that cosine and secant are reciprocals of one another. So if you were to... All right, so I think before my dog pooped his pants, I was saying that cosine and secant are reciprocals of one another. So if cosine is equal to 1 over root 2, then the flip of that, secant, should be equal to root 2 over 1, or just root 2. So they're saying secant is negative root 3, so that cannot be true. Again, we have said that number 2 is true, so now number 3. Cotangent is equal to negative 1. How do we address cotangent? So cotangent is the flip of tangent. So what do we know about tangent? Tangent of theta is equal to sine over cosine theta. So sine of theta over cosine theta. So if we know that sine of theta is negative root 2 over 2, and then cosine of theta is equal to root 2 over 2, you know, just the positive version here, root 2 over 2, and we're dividing something by itself, pretty much. Anything divided by itself is just 1, but keep in mind we have the negative here. So negative 1 is equal to tangent. So cotangent is always the flip of tangent, 1 over tangent. So what is 1 divided by? Negative 1. That's just negative 1. So negative 1 is equal to cotangent, which is exactly what they say. So 2 and 3 are our answers. So G is our answer here. All right, let's see if we can crank out two more problems. Cosine is equal to one half. Again, it helps to know unit circle. Cosine is one half when the Y value is root three over two. And this ordered pair corresponds to any pi over three multiple. Okay, so pi over three 
has this multiple, but we're looking for the angle that's in quadrant four. So if we know pi over three is up here, two pi over three is up here, three pi over three is over here, four pi over three, and five pi over three. So five pi over three is the angle that is in quadrant four with an ordered pair, to be more specific, of positive one half and negative root three over two. Okay, so let's start with number one. Sine of theta is equal to negative root three over two. That is correct because sine is just our y value. So that checks out. Number two, sine of theta is equal to, or sorry, secant of theta is equal to two. That checks out because cosine is equal to one half. And the flip of that is secant, cosine. Uh, the flip of cosine is secant, and the flip of cosine, one half, is two over one. So just two. So secant does equal two. Number three, cotangent is equal to one over root three. Again, cotangent is the flip of tangent. So if tangent is sine over cosine, maybe we do it a little differently this time. Let's find cotangent directly by doing cosine over sine. Cosine over sine just means x over y, right? So we'll take 1 half and divide it by negative root 3 over 2. We can, yeah, let's just do it like this. So we'll multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll say 1 half times the reciprocal of the denominator. So 2 over negative root 3. The 2's cancel, and we're left with 1 over negative root 3. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right, so 1 over negative root 3. They do have 1 over root 3, but they don't have the negative. So I'm going to say this is false because they did not tack on the negative, and tangent and cotangent would be negative in quadrant 4. Okay? So we're looking for 1 and 2 are correct. We break out the eraser to see that option E is our answer. Let's do one more. We are told that cosecant is negative 2 over root 3. How does that help us? Well, let's go ahead and just flip it. That's going to help everybody. The flip of cosecant is equal to sine. So the flip of negative 2 over root 3 is negative root 3 over 2. So let's think about that. Let's think about the ordered pair with a y value of negative root 3 over 2. So just thinking in, in positives, I guess, first, the angle that we are concerned with that has this ordered pair, 1 half root 3 over 2, is pi over 3. It's that same one we just dealt with in the last one. So um, pi over 3 has this ordered pair, and so if we're dealing with quadrant 4 and pi over 3, we'll just have that same 5 pi over 3 that we just dealt with, right? So it's the multiple of pi over 3 that takes us to quadrant 4. So 1 half and negative root 3 over 2 is the angle uh, we are concerned with here. 5 pi over 3 with this ordered pair. All right, start with number 1. Secant, or sorry, sine of theta is equal to root 3 over 2. That is true. We've already addressed that here because it was the flip of cosecant. Number 2, tangent is 2 over root 3. Tangent should be y over x or sine over cosine. So y over x, this over this, would be negative root 3. Can't do 3s to save my life. Negative root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Okay? So let's just do it like this. 2s cancel. We're left with negative root 3 over 1 or just negative root 3. So tangent is equal to negative root 3, which is not what they have in cotangent, they say, is equal to negative 1 over root 3. Well, the nice thing is if we just found tangent was negative root 3, then the flip of tangent is cotangent, so 1 over negative root 3. And that is the same thing as negative 1 over root 3. All right, so 1 and 3 are correct. Break out the eraser to see that F is our answer. A lot of random fun examples here. Hopefully you learned a little something. I've addressed it in another video, but I just want to point out again, these problems are not easy. These problems are not easy, 
and I might be making them look a little bit easier and kind of just like brushing off the process or whatever. I might be f even forgetting explanations, like just because I'm so used to doing things, I might be not addressing something that maybe is worth addressing. Um, if you have any trouble with these or you see problems that, you know, are nothing like the ones I did, then, you know, send them my way. Ask me questions, whatever. I'm happy to help. Um, I'm hopefully not coming off as like, this is super easy stuff um, because it's not, okay? It's a, you have to, to understand a lot of different things at the same time and apply it all at once. And so if you have questions, please let me know. Okay.